Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Let me pet you. Let me pet you. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. I just tried to. Yes. Okay. Somebody go pet him. Uh, yeah. Gotta get this. Uh, pet this dog. Pet this, pet this dog. Yeah. Yeah. Pet this dog. Pet this cat. Get. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, yes, got it. Okay, welcome back to Solid Content. Welcome back to Dogville. Welcome back to Hair of the Dog, I think is what we called this uh, tavern. Hey, it sticks now. It stays. All right. Very good. Um, yeah, let's show you around. I mean, I didn't do anything uh, except for rake up a bunch of cash. No dents, no dents. Uh, basically just loaded over here. Uh, so I'm not worried about cash right now, but I am worried about uh, the next steps for this inn. Uh, we got some new uh, decorations here maybe we could take a look at. Ooh, I really want to use that uh, bar top thing. Look at that thing. That's gorge. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'm doing more voices, I've decided <laughs> in this moment. In this exact minute, I just decided I'm doing more voices. Um, one thing I know, uh, noticed while I was uh, playing and saving up all this uh, horde of degloons is that you, if you're not careful, you're going to lose your pets. Uh, they tend to, if they feel underappreciated, here, pause, just make sure they all get pet. If they feel underappreciated, they just bounce, they just leave. Uh, I, I went through the game, I had, a ch I had an actual checklist of all the people who are like, <laughs> where are you going? That was a nice slide there, Mr. Different. I had a checklist going of all the people who had lost animals and, and who had animals in the, to begin with. So I've made sure that I've gotten all of the animals back. There's some handle. Here's Melomatic. He's back with a vengeance. Here is Fernbin. Uh, <laughs> Fernbin is there. We got ro storage room. <laughs> who is this? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Rakesh. Rakesh, you spicy cat. All right, and Michael. So we got lots of characters in here. I might have uh, doubled up. There might be a couple of vampies running around. I can't. I just can't remember anymore. Keep keep guard out, Mister Different. So um, let's first of all check if there's anything for the pets to be doing. I'm gonna make sure that there are lots of play stations. Uh, but unfortunately, those only really exist for the uh, for the cats. Uh, you know, I as a lover of dogs, I find that offensive. I'm horribly offended by that. Um, and I would like it to change immediately. <laughs> Clabatter, you have your uh, ultimatum. Okay, where am I going to put this? Let's get a cat toy in here, question mark? I don't know. Let's put it right there, I guess. Ugh, it seems kind of just out in the middle of the space. Let's just put one out here. They can play with it out there. And here's a cat toy that they could just have in the right there, maybe. They have to be indoors. Let's put another cat toy up here. I think there is one. Yeah, let's get a let's get another one. Uh, here, which if it was a real ball, that would be going down this like expanse here. I can't wait to find some railings. Now, uh, I haven't used this bug repellent yet. I haven't seen fit to use it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, maybe I should look at some of the customers and if they're if they're really annoyed by the amount of pests or something. So we'll set that up and set it to sausages. That's the only thing I'm kind of focused on right now. Wait, let's get this dog pet. So basically, while I'm just saving up cash and letting the inn run, I think I have to occasionally make sure I'm uh, keeping an eye on these animals and making sure that they are getting a uh, pet, which as far as I can tell for dogs is the only way to keep them, you know, all happy and such. All right, so yeah, pet those dogs, pet those dogs, yes, yes. <laughs> all right, uh, we're doing good for resources right now. A little light on the cereal, so let's go ahead and just make a whole bunch of those. Uh, this, uh, right now, at the current state of my uh, tavern, I really don't need to be constantly farming, uh, which is good, because you really got to micro the farm. Um, and let me show you something else I noticed here. Click, 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 click. You can also take a look at your, um, your soil quality, watering, condition, what it's got stored in there. You can also hold down shift, and it'll show you what's stored in these various things. Uh, durability, okay, good. So anyway, these are now planted, but we could also water them. Uh, let's see, did it need water? Yeah, like look at the soil quality is really bad here. So I think I guess we should water these all. 
Maybe fertilize these ones. I don't know. So you can't fertilize it if it's... Okay, that's good to know. You can't fertilize these things if they have already been uh, planted. Uh, I guess that... Yeah, that makes sense to me. So we'll just click all these to be fertilized. Hopefully these... I don't know if these are going... Yeah, I don't know what these tasks are. That's probably for um, camp... Uh, you know, oops, oops. Onions. This was all onion, I think. Okay, now, what does that do to the soil quality here? Yeah, that's that's definitely gone up uh, quite a lot. So we'll let that go on. And now, every so often, if I see this light up here, I'm just going to check it out and make sure. Because they try to give me a warning. Can let me pet you. They try to give me a warning before these pets just take off and look for greener pastures, literally. Uh, or, or funner? More fun pastures, I guess? Because that's, that's kind of what they're doing. Uh, let's get some unlocks in here. Let's see what we're doing. I'd like to start growing some hops. I think that's going to be uh, very important for me. So I'm going to unlock hops. And that didn't give me garlic. I was trying to get to garlic, to be honest with you. I have three unlocks left. What do I want to do with them? Well, we've got the bread thing. So we could make a quern. Sausages from meat. Yeah, but do I want, like, if I create sausages from meat, aren't, isn't meat already very expensive? Like, why am I trying to make sausages with that? You know? You know what I mean? Now I mean, candle maker. Let's get the candle maker going. Let's, that's it. That's important. So we have hops. We have uh, the ability to brew mead, and uh, uh, we don't have a brewery yet. So do I unlock something here and then unlock the brewery? I mean, I, I have, I have a brewer, brewer. I have a brewer. I don't really have a spot for it either, do I? Well, I will later. I'm about to have a spot for it. I think I have a plan that's growing. I have a developing a growing baby plan. That's going to go here. It looks like it's really in the way right now, but don't worry. So I can make lager and mead right now. I don't think I need to unlock the brewery. The brewery, because I, I found it. So I can make mead and just, I guess, lager generally. I can also make cider. That's great. Do I want guests to be more patient? Do I want vetitas? I have two unlocks left. Not worried about that. I, I, I would like cabbage. Cost of doing right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. Gambling table, yeah, pretty good. Vetitas. Any one of these unlocks will give me garlic. Okay, so that's one option. Or I could unlock a querne. Could unlock a querne, couldn't I? I would like to start making bread. I'll be honest with you. I would, I would like to start making bread, but I will need a querne. <laughs> Which is how I pronounce that forever. Ooh, I can feel the hatred. I can feel your hatred flow through you. Uh, do I already have a querne? I don't think I found it. I do not think I have naturally acquired one. Let's hang on. Let's look at the menus. Then we'll deal with that. So first steps. First, let's at least get the candles going because we have wax. We have wax coming out of the ears right now. And uh, I would very much like that to become candles boom save me some cash here's my candle matrix matrix ma maker thing <laughs> okay i don't actually drink but it really feels like i've been drinking how i feel right now i just feel loosey-goosey if i'm being honest oh yeah get some wood in there please should we put like a wood uh... ah don't worry about it oh i just love that storage I love the storage except for this uh, bowl of sausages. They're like, where do we store the bowl of sausages? Put it on the bottom sh the bottom shelf. There isn't a bottom shelf. Okay, we'll just put it on the ground underneath the shelf. That, and that's how we'll know where it is. <laughs> All right, you're gonna go, then they're gonna start making this. I also have, uh, I'll, 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 pull, I'll show you something here. I have uh, da -da 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 -da, hired a lot of drudges this time around. Drudges and, and some foremen. Uh, I think it's all drudges, actually. Let's see if there's anybody better right now. Uh, this has become a very important part of this. Uh, ooh, fast and loyal? You don't say. Let me guess. <gasps> Brave. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And he's a slacker. Hmm. But he's fast, though. Let's hire him. So it's very important that I have lots of these folks around, I feel, because uh, they pet the animals. They do, uh, let's have this guy like, yeah, cleaning and stuff. And then let's lower all this crap. We have some people who are dedicated farmers already. I think that's Llewellyn and Gwilliliman. And uh, he can help out around the kitchen. 
Uh, I just feel like that it, it, there's going to be so much farming and candle making and stuff that we are going to be... Uh, the drudges are very important in this game. So I am trying to decide if I pr crush right through and get uh, garlic unlocked uh, or if I uh, make a ukulele. So uh, to do that, let's see. Uh, we are going through garlic, you know, pretty fast. And garlic is expensive. It might be just more important right now. It just might be. <sighs> I guess the question is, what is nearby? Lots of bread-based things? Because right now we just have bread soup, I think. Oops, oops, wrong button. Cereal. Nuts, which I don't know if I can ever grow, which is annoying. And some root. Okay, that one's a weird dish. A lot of these dishes are going to be hard. I'm going to need to figure out if I can grow herbs. I don't think I... I didn't see that in the unlocks. Uh, honey and stuff. That's good. I got that. I I, I think we should just unlock uh, garlic, if I'm being honest. I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing too... Eh, there's a garlic, uh, spicy garlic, spicy pumpkin soup. I love it. Uh, there's not too much uh, in terms of recipes that need garlic right now that, I'm, that I have. Uh, but I do go through it fast, which makes me think that people are eating a lot of garlic dishes, which I love. You guys can't hear this, but I I, yeah, I do have a little Italian in me. Um, love me some pasta, love garlic. Sometimes I'll put so much garlic in something because I just like can't taste it anymore. I've like developed a whatever to it, you know, like a uh, an, uh, a resistance, a resistance. Oops. Okay. Well, we'll just mark it over there. Um, and then people will taste my dish, and they're like, "That's so much! There's so much garlic in this! I can't, I can't, I can't even taste it, guys. That's how Italian I am." <laughs> okay, so we'll put that well there. That looks kind of nice. I like that. Uh, let's get started with the, the main thrust of this episode. I know we're 12 minutes in already. Good lord, or I mean, maybe 12-ish. Um, but that, that was all necessary. So we're gonna we're gonna start making some garlic. That's what we're doing. So we're gonna go here or banners. We could unlock some banners. Now nah, let's do this. Uh, that just seems cheaper on the out outset. Unlocks adventure is good. Okay, and garlic. Perfect. Now let's start growing some garlic, please and thank you. And then we're doing bread probably in the next episode. Then okay. But here's what's going down for this episode, folks. I am gonna do. I'm gonna expand the inn out this way. I am going to create our second floor, and hopefully I can get our second floor entrance done, which is actually going to be our uh, main entrance. And then I'm going to move this door around back here, just for staff. I might even fence it off, so that the only way to get into this inn for customers is to go up the uh, one set of stairs. Make sure you get pet. Is he going to run away? No. So, to do that, I might even have to close this in because I have a lot of work I want to do. But let's uh, let's think about that later. Uh, the main issue to think about currently is, page down, is layout. So, down here, I want to have my kitchen, obviously, and I want to have my storage, a massive storage. I kind of still think it would be fun to have a skeezy little... Uh, uh, um, in down here, like a little, uh, what do you call it? Like a back room, like a, uh, like a, 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 a criminal's in. What are they called again? Outlaw. An outlaw. I want to have an outlaw in down here. So it's going to be small though. I'm going to shrink it down in size a little bit. And I think I'm going to expand two blocks out. Uh, so the main hall, I think, could do this. Ooh, that dog's going to be upset. We'll just pet him. Sorry, some handle, but you are now uh, trapped for a bit. Don't you fret. Just just don't fret. I'm going to expand this hallway down here. Okay. And I'm going to expand the kitchen. So this could be our staircase into the second floor. Now the second floor is gonna be our main hall. You come up and it's and they're all like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> Here's our main hall. And maybe today we can get like a dorm room in there as well. Uh, we got a lot of work to do, good Lord. So uh, I also, right, 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 of course. 
How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's odd. So I need to do like one, two, three to kind of make it look even, which I do, you know, want to do. So uh, to do that, let's move this door. Ugh, this is going to be a big build, folks. This is going to be a nightmare here. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, perfect. I mean, yeah, I don't see why I just didn't do that to begin with. There we go. And then we're going to sell this one, I think. Sell this door. And everyone's going to freak out for a second. And they're going to all run into this wall. Some, I mean, sometimes they do that. I don't have enough candles. I got 129 candles. Like, you know, keep on... Just shut up. Just get back to work, everyone. Don't tell me I'm running out of candles. Is this enough room for my kitchen? I don't know. What I need to do is build my second floor, I think. Uh, so let's get this going here. So this is going to be our empty room for now. So we got to figure out what it is. Okay, good. Now, see what I'm going at? See what I'm getting at here, folks? See what the plan is? Right? I'm going to move this up against that. It's going to look amazing. And then, like, a little fence is going to come down here and seal off uh, the rest of the guests uh, to their fate, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Um, okay. Let's see if... The, I I don't even know if this is going to work yet to TBH. So what are we dealing with layout here? This is all improvised, by the way, folks. This is not necessarily the best, you know, in that I've ever done. Uh, I mainly want to just get to fabricating. Um, okay, so they're going to come up these stairs. So this is kind of like a, you know, like a whatever, a, a hallway or something. Uh, we'll just call it an empty a main hall for now. We'll just call it the main hall. So they come up these stairs to the second floor. The second floor being, conceivably, the main entrance. Uh, it's a main hall, so maybe it's just going to be the main hall here. How much cash do I have left? Too much? Almost too much cash? Good. Good. Whew. I was worried there for a second that I wasn't rich. But I am. <laughs> All right. Um, and then maybe there's a back hallway here, so I don't mind that. Let's do like a room. What about, what if this was a room here? And then this is a hallway. Okay, let's just see what this looks like. As long as I don't start playing, as long as I don't start playing, I can just kind of sell these off. Okay. So I'm thinking like an empty room here or something. Straight down here. So we've kind of got our hallway going on. Maybe. Uh, this is getting tricky because I want to do... The main hall could wrap around here and this could be like a staff area. What? Let's just take a look at it. Let's take a look at this layout. Let's just do this layout. You know what I mean? This main hall is massive. But you know what? It, it, it's the uh, it's the main hall. Like what? You know what do you want from it to to not be massive? Okay, so then how would people get downstairs? I might need this to be two by two or something. So then you'd have like a staircase downstairs and upstairs, right? So you'd have a staircase here that has to be like right there and a staircase here going up. Yeah, and so then we could have a little storage there, I guess. Let's see what that looks like. Main hall. Okay, so I got to sell that, sell all this. So the main hall goes basically like that. And then the empty r empty room expands to this. So then we would have stairs down, which would come down here. Uh, not ideal, because like, how do people get to the like nasty inn, the nasty place? And then the staircase up is like here, which is pretty kind of a no. Well, then there would be a, a hallway up here, so that's kind of cool. So I feel okay about this situation not so much about having a staircase right there unless i create oh sorry did you hear my stomach gurgle i may have to move everything in here around oh boy that's gonna be frustrating okay but i think that's a decent size for a room okay let's do this we're gonna play we're gonna hit play on this and then oh something happened we got something Shut up and sleep in here. Uh, build a guest room. Yeah, give me that 500 gold. Now I'm even more rich. The rich get richer in this game, folks. The rich get richer. Ugh. Tragedy. Modern tragedy. Okay, build those walls, please. 
And build. And build. And build them. Build the walls. Okay, there we go. Jeebs. Yeah, okay. Completed that. All right, here's what I'm thinking we got to do. I think, folks, we are going to close this in. Everybody get out. Don't have enough fat for the torches. Yes, I do. Everybody finish up your meals and uh, get out of my tavern. This is going to be a lot of work, actually. 26, 27. Oh, more people have shown up, even though it's closed. Are they listening to me at all about the closed thing? 25. Why does it keep telling me? Maybe it's because it's not telling me about prices are too high. Yeah, it's these people complaining, so I still get an indicator when nothing's happening. 22. Just leave. Everybody stop giving me so much cash and leave. Man, I don't know about this design, though. Thinking, thinking about this design. I'm, I'm concerned about it. Uh, but yeah, what I'm thinking I need to do is the stairs are going to come down here. All right. The stairs are going to come down about there. I mean, I can place them right now. What kind of stairs do we want, folks? These should be kind of rickety stairs. Maybe not that rickety. That's a bit stupid. That's a bit too rickety. These look like good basement stairs. Like they, uh, I kind of want the stairs to be like, hey, you know, don't, don't do the stairs, don't come down here, yeah, leave it alone. Hey, down here, I want you to leave well enough alone, okay? So that's the leave well enough alone stairs, and then this is like the, oh, wouldn't you, don't you just want to come up here? What happens if I, should I sell that? No, no, because then I can't put a wall there. That would look really stupid. Okay, uh, Control P, back to play. Everybody, get out. Okay, so what I'm what I'm trying to get at is that maybe this should all should now all become the main hall. Uh, so we can do this. We could do this here. Sell. Uh, so the stairs come down, and there's this is going to be a little hallway in here, and then some doors. Should we have a secret, secret outlaw in kind of situation? I think so. Now, I, oh, I'm not going to be able to sell these, so how can I repurpose this? How can I reshape this room with everything up here? <gasps> I can't. Gosh, that's <laughs> that's pretty annoying. If I'm being honest, that's annoying. So you have to really finalize. I remember this now. You have to finalize your builds before you do all the crap up there. <sighs> okay, fine. Sell this. Nope. Sell the stairs. Okay. Oh, and I can't. Oh, but... Yes, I can. Okay, good. Did I get a thousand bucks back? I do not know. Now, I've been running the game for a bit, so maybe it's not even going to let me sell these rooms yet. How much did I get back? 400. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Huge. What? Okay, great. Good to know. I'm not getting anything back for those. Really fun. I forgot about that. I forgot about that, folks. We have to take out a loan just to finish this friggin' thing. Okay, so here's my plan. Here's my plan. I sell off a little bit of this here. I'm gonna repurpose this. So we need to create uh, something here, which means I gotta sell all that. Whoa, whoops. I gotta sell all that off, and I'm not gonna get any cash back for it. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? We have to take a loan to finish this episode. Okay. I just need to sell that. Can I not sell like this? And not get any money for it? I'm not getting any cash back on my purchases. I think I, I'm freaking out right now, but I'm sure you guys are all commenting down below like, Yeah, Peter, you've always known that. Come on, stop doing uh, non-solid content here. I should have known. I should have done a design before. If we Should we make another uh, tips and tricks video? Because that might be a useful thing to mention. Do your design work before. Stop lighting up. That's really annoying now. Prices are too high. Yeah, prices are also you getting out. All right. So, here we go. I'm going to sell off this chunk here. And I'm going to put a, a, a room in there, okay? Just out of curiosity, if I say main hall and sell. Nope, not getting anything for that. Oh, just a fresh, just a fresh kick in the pants is what I'm getting for that. So, that's, we're having a good time over here. Ooh, good, 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 having fun. So the stairs come down here. So they come around here. So this needs to be converted into something. Oh, 
Let's convert this into empty room. And I can't, ooh, I wish I could do this. Can't even change the walls. <laughs> okay. Maintaining my composure. No, don't sell. Ah, oh, turn off sell. Uh, great. <laughs> I love that I started this game with 40,000 doubloons. And now look where I am. Oh, sad. Sad, sad, sad. All right. So do I convert this into it as well? Yes, I think we should gonna sell this. We are gonna create an empty room here. So this is the hallway now. So this is gonna be, yeah, then we put a door here. So uh, this will be our pretend storage thing like we've done before. Only, I mean, it's not pretend. It's, it's gonna be real storage. Okay. So the stairs come down here and then we can have a stair uh, door in if, here for the kitchen. So this is still the kitchen. We do need to think about expanding the kitchen and the storage, though. This kitchen is going to be way too small. So we're going to sell, which means I need to sell these exact blocks upstairs as well. Let's think about this. We can do this, folks. We can. This can be done. This is do well doable. Let's, uh, stop smoking there. I'm trying to... Okay. Page up to move the table. And it wouldn't place. Great, great, great. Okay, so we're gonna just put just put some tables up here for now. Okay, so then we're gonna move this over to here for now. All right, then we're gonna expand. So we need to take out these blocks just to get a slightly bigger kitchen. Or do we do two of them? Then what are we dealing with here? Then we have one little hallway type situation. So that gets me a bigger kitchen and a real tiny outlaw in, but I kind of like it if I'm being honest with you. So that means I need to take out these four here above us. Uh, sell this one. And I can't sell that for some reason. <laughs> of course I can't. Don't let me sell that. Uh, well, that would be crazy if you let me sell that. <laughs> All right, we're just relaxing here. We're relaxing and uh, having a fun episode today. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, I can't sell that. Okay, let's think, let's think. Why can't I sell that? There's usually always a reason. The cats are getting stuck. Very, very sad right now. What's happening? Kitchen, expand, expand, expand. Okay, kitchen's getting bigger. We're all we're running out of cash. We've got some major problems brewing right now. That's okay. We're going to deal with them. We are going to deal with them. Why can't I sell any of those? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're back in business here. Okay. Now, next move. All right. The cats are going crazy. You know what? This is. That's, I. I feel like that happens though. Hey, like uh, page up. I think cats do tend to go crazy when, like, when you move or something like that. I, I bet dogs would, too. Oh, my goodness. This episode is challenging. I wonder... I hope this is watchable. I mean, I think it is. I think this is all part of playing the game, is doing these major moves. I need this guy out of here. I will straight up... I gotta start your break. Yes, good strategy. Good strategy. Solid content strategy. All right, let's sell these three rooms here and let's expand our kitchen. Now you've got this storage thing leading down to this hallway, leading into this tiny, tiny little tavern. Don't worry about it. We also need to sell the rooms. Oops, I turned that into a kitchen, didn't I? Don't worry, I don't care. So we also need to sell all this because this was like part of my strategy, which is now not necessary. So let's uh, expand our uh, storage, I think. That's a pretty big kitchen. This is a good kitchen for the rest of the inn, the tavern. Uh, so let's sell these three. Man, I really love that I basically planned. I spent 40,000 bucks to gloons to plan. Real fun. Having lots of fun. Now, do I want to make this tavern, this hall? Let's do this. Because, like, look, can I sell this and get 400 back? Okay, so I, as long as I don't unpause... For the rest of the game, any movements I do, I need to just make sure I'm really happy with it. Oh, man, that sucked. I wish I had realized it before. I, I really do. Okay. 
So now that creates a little, like, nook. I don't know if I care so much about that nook. Um, I might also remove all the windows and doors and things here. I think that might be, that might be cool. So, do we like, is this a sustainable, usable sort of thing? Let's put a door in here as well. I gotta get a door here. Yep, let me put the, there you go. It's getting a little freezy. It's getting a little freeze happy right now, to be honest with you. Okay, we'll put a door there. Then, we're gonna put a uh, rickety old, like, ignore me type of door right here. This is just storage. Don't worry about this area. It's just storage. Yes, and then that's gonna go down this hall into this uh, tavern here. But I think the, the real thing we need to do, the most important thing to do right now, oh, stop lighting up. Stop lighting up there. <laughs> the most important thing we need to do right now is maybe get that main tavern back up and running here, because this is a, a problem. Uh, okay, I sold all this. How big did I want that room to be? That's the real question. A real question, which I cannot test, because if I leave, then I don't get that money back. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> so this is the main tavern. This is going to be a big tavern. I like that. We're going to go empty room back into here. And I'm out of cash. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fine. Do we have enough? Okay, we have enough. Here's the thing. We have enough stocks to, to get back up and running. Then we're going to need to take out some big loans, and we're going to need to pay them back right away. Give me that 20,000 doubloons. All right, we're going to take loans as we need them, but I think we have the stock. We're not too worried. We can just get this restaurant up and running again once we're once we're done with this. So does this need to be a, ha a hallway? Yeah, because this was the guest room. Okay, I understand. Empty room. This is our uh, central sort of uh, walkway. Or what, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. And then we're going to have our guest room here. Just off the main tavern. Love that. And expand them. Ah, oh, for f f heaven's sake. <laughs> Guest room, thank you. Main hall is going to be here. Thank you, thank you. Main hall. Expand, expand. There we go. Door into there. Then a door here. And then maybe a door here for our staff. Uh, well, because then they won't use that, though, will they? That's the problem. Now, let's think here. Where, where was the stairs that I paid mo good money for first? So these are the basement stairs, which are going to be like, don't worry so much about these stairs. And then these are going to be the other stairs, which are like all good. You know, like, use. don't worry, you can use these stairs. Please do. So then they... I wonder if there's another thought to have here. Let's think about this. If we, before we obviously do anything, commit to this, what if we had the stairs... You have to go back here. The stairs down to the basement come out here. So the kitchen, uh, it's not as convenient for the kitchen. It's not as optimized. I could put the kitchen door there. Then there's storage and kitchen door, main storage out to the rest of the place. Then this little, little thing here. And if I put very few tables down here, not that many people will go to it. Let's try that. Let's do that. We can always, this we can fix later. That's the thing. So what I'm gonna do, did I get $1,000 back? I wasn't paying attention. If I Oh, if I didn't, I'm going to be six kinds of mad. So that's what we want. We want stairs like this. Let's do that. That sounds... I think this is going to be fun. I think that's going to be cool. So then, then this, these stairs here are like right here. And then we'll put... Once we find the railings across here. So mo regular customers are going to come down here and then be like, what's down? Oh, I guess that's just the basement. Whatever. Then they'll come up here. But to get down to the basement, to the staff area, here is staff door. Oh, okay, this feels good. That feels better. Now I'm happy again. What should we do for a room? What kind of door do we want here? Like this kind of a door? To our guest room? Yeah. There we go. That's good. Good guest room. And then uh, here we could have some kind of a thing here. Now we gotta, we're gotta. we going to have to design some stuff here. I want to get this up and running again. I want to get the walls looking nice and stuff like that. That's probably going to be in another episode. This thing's gone long. Now, is this what we have in this tavern? So you come upstairs. You're going to come... Oh, right, 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 of course. You're going to come upstairs into this main hall like so. 
And now there's a way to get downstairs. Here we go. So let's go down here and sell this door. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. If this doesn't work, this is going to be uh, obviously a problem. So the stairs got placed, which creates this. So we'll need a door here. This is the door to our tavern. Uh, what kind of a door do we want? We want a green door? Looks kind of funky. Do we want like a... What about that? Cool. I, I don't know. I like that. I like that. And then we're going to have to make this look like a basement. We'll do that later. We're going to do the walls and stuff later. We need to get a running tavern up ASAP. What looks good? Wow. Cool. What is that? Sambrian or something? Yeah. Is that Sam Sambria? That's obviously the Yorvales, I think. And this one's obviously a little fancy. I don't hate it. I don't hate going fancy in here. 2,500 bucks though, we're almost out of money again. So let's, at l for now, let's do this one. I know I'll use this somewhere else. I might even use it downstairs. So, so uh, I like this one. I like it being like here even maybe. And just having so much storage back there. Yes. I like it. I like it there. I don't know why. Nope. Nope. There we go. Have to, ugh, I gotta reposition that. Oh my goodness, this has been a nitpicky episode. I don't know why I can't put that there, though. Something's probably in the way. Let's face it, something's in the way. So for now, we could just do this. Let's put it on a bit of an angle somewhere. Okay, so we place that. Then we have our big old barrels here. See if I can't control place them like real close to each other here. Yeah, come on, come on, baby girl, get in there. Come on, come on, fit. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me a spot. Okay, fine. We shift. You know what? We don't let it get to us. That's the most important thing uh, right now. Is we're not letting any of this get to us. <laughs> All right. So this is kind of our serving space, sort of, looks okay. It's gonna need some more refinement, but right now I'm just trying to get up a running in as we have gone, we're gonna go way over time on this thing. Oh my goodness. There we are. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of cleaning to be done, I gotta tell ya. But there, look how much space there is. Actually, where's there? Where's my uh, stage? Let's get this stage up and running. Man, this is, this is awesome though, this is great. Okay, I think it hasn't been built yet or something maybe? Yeah, we gotta wait till this all populates. All right, now what kind of pathing issues have I caused? Let's find out. <laughs> Sorry folks. Let's get rid of that door, hey? Probably? I mean, it's going to be less optimized if I get rid of that door, but the thing is, if I keep that door, then the fastest way up and downstairs is going to be right here, which I do not uh, want. All right. Okay, hopefully that lets us place things places. You know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. Placing is going to be tricky these days. So let's create... I'm going to create a bit of a stage, like, here. If I'm, if they, if the gaming gods even allow me, there we go. So this is going to be, we'll get some railings up. We'll get some like posts down here or something. Got to be careful with posts again. We learned this in the last episode, uh, that posts stick through the floor above them. So it makes building hard. So mainly it's just important to remember that when you go to like do some more building. See, for instance, there's some kind of hidden secret thing there and we're not. And again, we're not letting it get to us. Really want to make things symmetrical, and I can't place stuff there right now, but that's okay. Ooh, we're holding our breath, and we're doing fine. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to get, yeah, let's try to make it, a, a, like, moderately symmetrical here. Try to make it look like it's holding up a tavern, you know? There we go. So this is kind of a, that's a fun area. Um, so let's put some tables in there now. Put a table, like, I can probably get a couple of tables in there. Okay, here we are. I don't know, that. Uh, can we put it on an angle maybe or something? Nah, let's just leave it like that. 
this in a little bit here. Uh, we don't want tables there. I'm going to put some decorations there in a bit. And have some hallway space here. Let's figure that out. Let's put some tables here then. And let's get... Uh... Let's get some more of these tables. One, two of those maybe. Let's Maybe these ones have stools around them or something, you know? Or these chairs. These chairs are nice. Ish. I mean, you know, they're not nice. You know what I mean? They're not nice, but they're... Look at this. Simple stool. I love it. That's what's going to be downstairs in our... Uh... Our, our, our outlaws in. So this thing is ugly. It's uh, bulky. It's durable, though. Okay, this is nothing, nothing. No bonuses being given by any of these. Wait. The stool is slightly nice looking. So this is going to be sort of a stool section. I was trying to think in a mo for a moment there. I was trying to think of like a stool sample joke, you know? I'm sorry, guys. That's just where I am right now. I'm just like my head's busted with this game at the moment cuz uh i i totally honestly i forgot about the oh connect you connect now connect i swear just let all of them connect hey there that's what i'm talking about yeah i really did i think if i knew about it 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 seems vaguely familiar the whole floor building uh thing that we have to be aware of and i understand from a game perspective it must be tricky Yep, yeah, and then I take this away, and then I put this, like, that, and this here, and I can move all the... Come on. Come on. I understand from a game design, you know, perspective that it's got to be tricky to uh, just give me the... Okay, fine. I just want to put you on an angle. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, you're not letting me. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> we're having a fun day today. We're having a fun day out here. But the thing is, like, if you were designing this game and you were like, yeah, okay, well, we, we want to make multiple floors and stuff like that, and then if people delete the floor above, uh, that's fine. If they delete the floor below because they want to reestablish room boundaries, um, I don't, we, they don't, you know, they just might not know how to program around that. I don't know the first thing about how I'd be able to program that. You know, so I imagine you'd make it a, oh, I love that, honest man's table. I imagine you would want to make it uh, something, uh, you know, it would probably take like, I don't know, how many hours of coding for somebody to, to, to actually figure out how to make that uh, workable eh, um, function that doesn't crash the game constantly when you try to like, when, when play, like, you have to design a game that players will then play in their own way. You can imagine how it would be played, but then somebody's gonna, like me, like this idiot, is gonna come along and delete the floor below just for fun. And then if the game crashes, then I email them and I'm like, I'm mad. I did something stupid and the game crashed. Oh, by the way, look, they fixed the, the rugs. So that's awesome. I'm, I, I'm putting rugs underneath all these. I don't know if that's, that's a bit silly. But right now I'm just looking for some, some, quick, some quick upgrades here to make this tavern look a little nicer um maybe some scatter around some square tables a bit more willy-nilly we already have there's a lot of you know tabling here so this is good um <laughs> that looks good but you know what i mean like we can't be that mad that you have to delete all the stuff on the floor below before you want to build the floor above we can't be too mad at them for that just because it's uh it's got it's how do you program around that? How do you program for all the stuff different players are going to want to do? It's kind of hard, if not impossible, to really fully account for every play style. Now, in Sims 4, I, I don't know. I think you can do that. I think you can kind of, like, cut out floors below. And they, they've created a way that, like, the players just kind of hover. Uh, and, and that's good for them. But maybe that took, like, hundreds of engineers. Maybe that took, like, you know, six months to, to make a playing mechanic that would actually still try to be playable. Now, as to why these are not buildable, except for right here, not 100% sure what's going on there. We've got a little bit, we've got some pathing issues or something. I wonder if this is, will fix itself. I, I certainly hope so, because I don't want to put a table there. But I can't really move it anywhere else right now. <laughs> we're, keep, we're staying patient. We're staying patient. Yeah, there's like a, a dead spot. That's interesting. 
Can I not put... So right now, before I put... Okay, let's move the, uh, these away. Does this dead spot become undead again? No, the table's died or something. Interesting. All right, see, look, yeah, I can place this table anywhere I want. Go figure. Some, some, uh, and now I can't place these anywhere I want. Okay, okay, we're selling all those, and now we can place chairs again. Nope, we can't. Interesting. Ooh, interesting. Okay. That's all right. We're staying... We're, <laughs> we're staying patient, <laughs> he says, as he gets more and more. Yeah, I'm freaking out a bit here. Now, if I touch this and move it, I bet it's not going to be placeable. Uh, almost. It kind of was. Right there. Anything here? Oh, I can't wait to figure out what that is. There's something there that's like... I don't know, man. There is something, some interesting crap going on here that I do not know about. Or maybe it's these. Oh, great. Of course. Of course, these are still causing problems. Let's do an experiment here. Let's grab these and move them out of the way. What's down there? The wall. Is it just trying to set... No, because the wall is right, right there. And I just moved those uh, candelabras, so I don't think it's the candelabras. That's what I call these, by the way. Yeah. Don't think it's those. Okay, well, a little bit of chaos. Maybe it's these folks. Maybe it's, you know, all these folks are stuck. Don't know. Let's bring this up here for now. I know, I'm gonna put some decorative stuff here, but right now we just need to, we just need to get a functional in again. Really do need to get this in running. Because now I have to make up a loan. I haven't taken out a loan in forever. Forever, I tells ya. Let's, uh, let's bring this upstairs as well. And let's let's keep it operational for now. Uh, it, this is gonna be, this is bad. I understand. No, I don't like it. Let's just sell it then. We've got we got tables and chairs for days. Okay, I'm not worried about losing a couple things. So this is now our new in space. This is gonna get really fixed up. It's gonna look nice. Trust me. Please, please trust me. What floor are you on? Oh no. Okay, just, okay, that's fine. We're staying calm. <laughs> we got some fun things going on. It's okay. We did throw, here in our defense, in our defense, in the game's defense, I, I did throw just a lot of weirdness at it. I tried to do a full overhaul of a room uh, really before, uh, before getting everybody kind of out of the way. So go in here, storage settings, all off. Just wine, thank you. Storage settings on this one, all off. Uh, just logger, thank you. All right, now, let's light the upstairs here. Let's get this thing running. A-S-A -A friggin' P. Don't have a lot of money. I can take out, I mean, I'll probably take, look, honestly, gotta take out another loan. And this thing is going to get redecorated. Oh, you better believe it's going to get redecorated. Uh, are those too close together? Nope, that looks about right. These are getting redecorated for show. But right now, I just need a running in. Okay, looks like I've got to uh, go get another loan, I think. I'm going to get another loan real quick before we end this episode. And then I'm going to pay off all these loans. Good lord. Uh, where was the other loan place? Isn't it down here somewhere? National Bank. Yeah, there we go. Let's get out just 10,000 doubloons, please. 10,000-ish. Uh, okay, and let's finish decorating this bad boy. 1,200 smackers. I want people to come into a nice tavern. You know, I want them to walk in. There. And I want I want this gone. I'm going to be honest with you. I want that gone. Do I have a couch or anything yet? I don't really have a couch. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's going to look great. No, let's put it outside here, right like that. Yes. I think that looks good, right? I mean, is that where you'd have an inside? Yeah, I mean, look at that. Come on. Look at that business. Should I have a nice rug as soon as you come in? Welcome to the Hair of the Dog Inn. You made it up the stairs without collapsing, which means you are able to have drinks. 
If you had collapsed, you were too drunk for drinks. And you would be kicked out. But since you did not, come on in. Can't place it anywhere. Trying not to freak out about it. Did something to the... I did something to the grid or something. I did something. I did something and now nothing's doable. <laughs> All right. That's fine, Peter. Calm down. Oh, so that goes... No, well, that's annoying. It's it's annoying. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put it like there. Okay, we're going to get some, like... We're going to get some stuff up there. Don't worry. Do I want to try to, like, make these windows a thing? Stop. Stop trying to make these windows a thing. They're not going to happen. Well, let's just make them... Let's just have them... Let's see what happens. Okay? All right, and let's go down here. And let's sell these. Right? And then the storage room could have some windows. Right? And then uh, the kitchen could have a couple of windows. Maybe even down here has got a window. Maybe that's a lot of windows, but I don't know. All right, and then we're just going to do these. I don't know, guys. They're just, they're nice enough. We'll just have them for now. Yeah, that looks good. Then we got one there. And then uh, here and here. Okay. So there, that room is going to be quite nice. And then we're going to get this lit up. Whew. Looks like we've done it, folks. That was um, a pretty stressful experience. Not gonna lie to you. Gonna sit here. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be as honest as possible. That was stressful. Is this that green one? Uh, it is green. I don't like this one. I want to put uh, maybe this guy. Maybe this one here. Yeah. See, now that's a respectable color, right? A little bit of red. Good. There we go. Let's, why don't, let's give them a rug. Oh, boy, do I ever... Oopsies. Boy, do I ever love rugs, you know? Just really love having a rug. I kind of want to give them a rug, like, back here so they can... What's going on with those chairs? What are these chairs doing here? I'm going to get out of here. There we go. I kind of want that uh, rug for them, you know? I like that for them. So you come in here. You, get, you, you go in. You're coming into this inn, which we are now going to open for business. What are you yelling at me about? New quests. The thing is open for business, okay? Then let's get some uh, uh, some of these up. Nope, none of them really give me any bonuses. That's fine. Oh boy, I think putting stuff on the walls is going to be hard up here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> this is my craziest episode yet, I think. Uh, and I don't mean like... Uh, what, all the stuff that happened was crazy. I mean, for me personally, this episode was has been a rowdy, rowdy experience. Somebody was commenting to me that uh, fine art was in the in the medieval times. Like banners would be everywhere, but fine art was actually a bit of a flex. To have fine art on your walls meant that you really had a nice thing going, a nice inn, uh, or a nice home, I guess. Um, that does make sense. I think paint is very expensive. I don't know if you guys have heard of this before. Look up for me. Look up the color Mummy Brown. This was a paint used in super fancy, uh, you know, probably medieval and even Renaissance paintings uh, that was made, get ready, from ground up mummies. I'm not lying. It was really good, had really good like flesh tones, I think, is why they liked it. Um, can I put that like right on that? I, I don't know. I feel good about that. I like that. Can I do that here? Uh, it made, re yeah, really good flesh tones. It looked really nice. That looks okay. Yeah, it sticks out a bit, but I like it. Uh, they re made really nice, uh, yeah, like I said, flesh tones and uh, skin color. So so they were used a lot in those kinds of paintings. And we they would straight up just grind up mummies. The nerve, the noive of those people. Grinding up actual humans uh, to make a paint color. Um, it's, it's a, that's a rowdy fact, but, uh, I said it, it's been said. And I look, I have looked it up recently. And as far as the sources I n looked up go, it's, that's true. That's a true thing that I just said. Ground up mummies in those paintings. So yeah, I can see why they're expensive. I can see why they give the, a big room bonus because back in the day we were probably like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're just mummies. We don't care. And now I think we've learned better. I think we were like, Ugh, that's not nice. 
It took us a while, but we learned not to grind up humans for paint. <laughs> We're a bunch of creeps. Aren't humans kind of creeps? We're creeps. We're just a bit creepy. Now I want to get like a fireplace in here and stuff like that. 1900 bucks left. I do want a fireplace in here. I mean, that'd be a nice spot for one. This corner would be good. Right here is our fireplace. Let's get that out of here. Oh, we can't. I forgot. Can't even put that anywhere. <laughs> We're staying sober. Sober. We're staying patient, I mean. All right, I'll put this here. And then uh, we'll put a fireplace here. We got a nice one. We don't really have a nice fireplace. We have this guy. Nice enough. Ugh, I think that looks pretty nice. Can we move that over as well? Yeah, can we move it over one more? Yeah, I mean, that creates like sort of a barrier kind of a situation. And then that's there. Uh, we can put a rug here as well. And maybe just a couple of chairs just for good measure. Or a small table. We could put a small table there. Oh, could you imagine? You're, you go for a date. And you guys are sitting here. Oh my goodness, look at that date table. I love it. What do you think, should we just get rid of these? Let's sell these. These are just kind of in the way right now. Um, I'm gonna figure out some more design elements later on. And I'll put this guy like here, I guess. Because I don't want to get rid of all the tables. This looks too spread out now. I can almost get this here. I know I can, I know it can fit somewhere. There we go. Something like this. There's a little bit of path to get to the stage. Maybe we put this back here. Okay, things are starting to get better to move around. I wonder if it was just like the initial pathfinding, like block some stuff off. That's looking okay. There we go. So we've got a, th a two and a half star in. Not great, but uh, the the um, the uh, main chambre is on the way. So this is the main chamber here. It took a lot. It took a lot to get going. It is under decorated still. Once we unlock some new items, that's gonna be better. But look at the folks flocking in, flocking into our place. And some are still even trying to get down here. I love it. I love that. Uh, staff, I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna move this to here. This area is gonna get a redecorate. So what are we dealing with now, folks? We've got a hustle and bustle and in, back up and running here, looking very good. Our second floor in. Ooh, that's a nice, there's a screenshot right there, huh? I never said I was gonna make those windows work, but I, I kinda, I'm gonna be honest with you, I kinda like those windows. So I think what we need to do is decorate the walls, we need to decorate the floors next. Um, and then we need to, oh, I do like that. Heading on down the stairs. Ooh, I do like that. Okay, this is satisfying. This is feeling good. We gotta pay off that loan, so I gotta get some, I'm gonna do some marketing maybe with that last bit of cash here. I think my stocks are doing good. I think we've got ways in and up and down there. Uh, we just need to figure out, I wish I could just make this not a, st that's annoying. How do I make the, how do I make customers use this door, you know? Is, that's how it is, okay, permitted, all. Everyone's permitted, nope, oops. No, no, everyone's permitted. How do I make the customers not not allowed to use a door? For a second there, I thought it was gonna happen for me. I thought I was gonna have a staff door. We're gonna keep thinking about this. Oh, actually, I know how this is gonna work. Uh, no, because they'll need to use that to go downstairs, right. So how this is gonna work is we need to make sure there's only a few tables down here so we don't have lots of customers uh, going down there trying to eat. We want the customers mostly up here. Then this door will be used only by staff and people going up and down stairs. All the customers are gonna be using this door and going up these stairs, using this room, etc. Now, the size is not ideal for this room but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it five stars anyway and then that's gonna start getting us some profit. Uh, I might, yeah, get that set up as soon as possible. But other than that, this very long, uh, very complicated episode is, has finally come to an end. And we have our second floor of this tavern. Look at this thing, huh? The second floor of our tavern is live now. I can't wait to play with some different shapes. 
I don't want this tavern just to be a big square that goes up two more stories. I want to have some weird shapes to it. So I'm going to work on that, and I think it's very obvious <laughs> that I need to plan that. Oh, boy. So hopefully I've set us up for success with this uh, with this episode. Oh, my goodness. That was stressful. Whew. All right. Garibay, you, where'd you go? Is that Garibay? Oh, my goodness. I got so many dogs. Pet that dog. Pet this dog. <sighs> Pet this dog. I'm getting better at catching them at full speed. Looking good. Okay. I don't think I've created any issues. It looks to be flowing. And nobody's trapped anywhere. I can uh, do the layout here. Bigger kitchen. This is looking good. Oh my goodness, folks! Thank you so much for bearing with me. If you did, if you if you made it to the end, just give me one of the old classic things people have been leaving on my channel because I said it once and uh, now they're always saying it. Uh, I'm still watching, you idiot! Just leave a com leave that comment if you made it to the end of this nightmare of a gameplay session. God, I love this game though. That's looking good, and I'm making money already. Bring on the profits! We'll see you in the next one.